this news. This is the big stuff. This is what just dropped. This is what people are going to be talking about because uh, Zack Snyder's back. He's back. He's directing. His new movie was just announced, and that is Zack Snyder returning to movies with zombie action pick Army of the Dead. Now, if you don't know anything about this project, that's okay. That's okay. It was rumored a long time ago. It was it was uh it was going to be a follow-up movie, I believe post I want to say post Man of Steel or post Watchmen. Uh it was before he dove balls deep into the DCEU. This was going to be a passion project of his, a vanity project of his. Warner Brothers was going to give him uh more, you know, another movie like they did with Sucker Punch cuz Sucker Punch was a vanity project that ultimately its theatrical cut much like Batman v Superman was pretty terrible, but the director's cut was pretty good. Again, showing us that Zack Snyder works in the long form. So the article says here, Zack is back. And I just want to say, first and foremost, I'm very happy to see that. I'm very happy to be able to say that. I'm very happy to be able to share that with you. Zack Snyder is one of my favorite directors. What happened to him last year in regards to his daughter is terrible. Uh, I think that the fan base of the DCEU really rallied around him and 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 really you know supported him in that time even though uh you know we understand why he had to step out of justice league uh and everything else that was like no that was like two years ago uh wow time flies um and no it was last year no it was 2017 you know it doesn't even really matter at this point it doesn't even really matter the fact of the matter is he is now out of his sabbatical uh, hopefully off of Vero, the, the very obscure social media platform that he hangs out on, that he likes to tease people with, and he's working on a new movie. Now, Zack Snyder, who directed 2017's Justice League, is only one step away from movies to deal with the family tragedy, or only a step away, uh, has signed on to helm Army of the Dead, a zombie horror thriller for Netflix. Snyder will direct and produce with his partner and wife, Deborah Snyder, uh, via their newly rebranded production company, Stone Quarry. The company's Wesley Collar is also producing. And the thing is, yeah, Deborah uh, Snyder has been his producing partner forever, so they work well together. Uh, going for Netflix obviously is a good thing. Going to Netflix is obviously a grand thing, and it's going to be uh, interesting to see what comes from it. Now, he also came up with a story for Army, uh, which has a script by Joby Harold. The adventure is set amid a zombie outbreak in Las Vegas, during which a man assembles a group of mercenaries to take the ultimate gamble, venturing into the quarantine zone to pull off the greatest heist ever attempted. Netflix is taking over the project from Warner Brothers, where it was first set up in 2007, and is going full throttle with the movie. The movie will commence shooting this summer with a sizable budget that could reach the $90 million range. To say Snyder's excited would be an understatement. Now, if you know anything about Zack Snyder, for one, $90 million is nothing. Netflix, you have no idea what you signed up for. You have no idea what you have signed up for, sirs and or madams. You, you think 90 million is going to be where it ends? Oh, no. This is Snyder we're talking about here. Okay. You've, you've, you've effectively let him off the chain. Uh, in fact, his own words summarize that by saying, there are no handcuffs on me <laughs> with it, at all with this one. Uh, that, that's, that's good. He says here it's going to be a good palate cleanser. Uh, to really dig in with both hands and make something fun and epic and crazy and bonkers in the best way uh, possible. The new project features several full circle moments for the filmmaker. For one, it brings Snyder back to the genre of his feature debut with 2004's Dawn of the Dead, uh, which launched his high profile feature directing career. It also reunites him with Scott Stuber and Netflix's movie head. The executive originally gave Snyder his big screen shot with the universal release. As much as Snyder has made his name in high flying comic book adaptions as 300 Watchmen and various DC movies, this new project, he is one he is proudly or he's proud to truly call his own saying, I love to honor canon and the works of art, but this opportunity to find a pure joyful way to express myself through a genre, it will be the most kick-ass, self-aware, but not in a wink to the camera way, balls to the wall zombie freak show that anyone has ever seen. No one's ever let me completely loose like this. Now, now, that could be both good and that could be both bad. Let's be fair. As much as I'm a big Zack Snyder fan, a good portion of what made uh, Dawn of the Dead in 2004 work so well was also the James Gunn screenplay, which was fantastic. It was. It was great. It was a great screenplay. So we, so we know that. We, we know that's the thing. Additionally, additionally, we, we don't quite know exactly, you know, if this is going to go as, 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 as well as he wants. This is his first movie back post-Justice League. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that one is more or less like something that just really is like not a good, 
mark for him, not only in his career, but just his, his own his own professional life. Um, he's even admitted to not having seen Justice League. And, and I don't blame him. It's it's not his movie. It's a Franken movie. You know, it's 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 at the end of it. It's an amalgamation of a of a bunch of different parts and pieces. And it's something that works for what it was, but ultimately could have been a lot better. So Zack Snyder coming back in with a balls to the wall, crazy ass zombie film about a group of mercenaries heading off into a quarantine zone outside of Las Vegas or inside Las Vegas, really, to pull off the ultimate heist. Couple questions right off the bat with that one. For one, what is a currency in a zombie outbreak? Is it going to be cash? If so, why? Right? Why would it still be cash? What exactly is the ultimate heist? We see it says Vegas, so we think it's going to be something along the lines of money. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to put it that it's going to be like resources. That it's going to be solar panels, that it's going to be a, a large collection of a, you know, of 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 of, of water. Some kind of uh, some kind of you know, desert habitat sort of thing that they're going to be able to go in and take or some kind of device that's going to that's going to save humanity. I have no idea. It's going to be it's going to be whatever. But Zack Snyder helming a movie completely let loose, completely off the chain. No producer oversight. No one. No one from Warner Brothers coming in with their notes. And we all know that was a problem with, with Justice League and Batman v Superman. We know it is going to be him doing his thing. And that to me. To me, it's pretty freaking cool. I'm not going to lie. That to me, it's pretty freaking dope. I can't wait to see what happens with that. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, where things go for Zack Snyder in the future. Hopefully it is a lucrative uh, partnership between him and Netflix because I do like the guy quite a bit and I want to see him uh, do very, very well. Hey, thank you so much for getting to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to get more up-to-date movie news and information, as well as breakdowns of trailers and other types of stuff, be sure to watch the other videos, click subscribe, and check back daily for more content from me. Again, my name is Matt Jarbo. This has been 3 Buck Theater. Have yourself a great day, guys, and peace out.